Hi guys, it's Kirby. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be putting the e.l.f. camo concealers to the test versus each other. 16 hour camo concealer, which is matte, versus the new hydrating camo concealer. I use them on either side of my face and I can't really tell the difference. Both very full coverage. If you are interested to see how these camo concealers go up against each other as well as compare to each other, then please keep watching. Okay guys, in today's video we are going to be testing some concealer side by side. This is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. They recently, like literally recently, just came out with a hydrating camo concealer. This is the first one that they launched. This is the 16 hour camo concealer and it is like a matte finish. And then this is the hydrating camo concealer and this is a satin finish. And so I thought that it would be interesting uh, to do a little side by side comparison and tell you a little bit about the products as well. I never reviewed this 16 hour camo concealer on my channel. I did go off on a little rant on my Instagram stories about it a little while ago. It's not that I don't like it. I do. I just prefer it as like an eyelid primer. Um, for some reason the 16 hour camo concealer gives my under eyes like a weird finish. It like looks not the best. And I don't know if it's maybe like the shade. I don't know if it's maybe just that it's too matte for my aging skin. But I wasn't a fan, like I wasn't a big fan of it for underneath my eyes, but as an eyeshadow primer, it was amazing. So I was really excited when they came out with a hydrating formula, um, because I thought maybe, maybe, the hydrating formula will give a little bit of like a nicer finish and it'll be a little bit more forgiving to my aging skin. We are nearing 30, after all. Um, so, with all of that being said... I don't have the packaging for the camo concealer. I can put up a little picture of the packaging. But this is the packaging for the hydrating concealer. It gives you a picture of the doe foot applicator. It says oversized doe foot to conceal, contour, and highlight. Uh, full coverage, satin finish. The hydrating concealer has a white top. The Camo, the 16 hour matte camo concealer has a black top. I'll put in the description box how much are actually in each of these, but they are $6 each, which is a steal for a nice full coverage drugstore uh, concealer. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do the matte on this side and the hydrating on this side. And since I use concealer for my eyelids, and my under eyes. I thought that I would try it out both as a um, eyeshadow primer as well as an under eye concealer. I will say though that the hydrating camo concealer, the packaging feels a little like less nice than the 16 hour camo concealer. The cap just feels a little bit more sturdy. The whole package just feels a little bit more sturdy. The hydrating camo concealer just feels like just not high quality and I don't know if they have changed the packaging for the matte finish one, the black top one. I bought this when it first came out a little while ago so they quite possibly could have changed the packaging so that they're actually both the same but that's just my opinion currently. So what we're gonna do is dot some of the hydrating on this side and then some of the matte on this side. Also, please note, I have the 16 hour camo concealer matte in light sand and the hydrating camo concealer in fair warm. It is incredibly difficult to match this concealer to your skin. I will put up a little like chart that they have on their website comparing the two of them together. The 16 hour camo concealer says that it dries to a darker finish and then the hydrating camo concealer says that it dries to the color in the bottle and it tells you how you're supposed to like match it. I find that incredibly misleading because on their Instagram and their website they show both of the concealers wet and dry in their swatches and the hydrating dries to a different 
shade than the bottle as well. Also, their foundation tool on their website, not very helpful at all. I was in Target trying to buy my hydrating concealer and I was looking on their website trying to match myself, obviously, and I was just going to pick up the light sand, but it looked incredibly orange. So I went on their website, used their foundation um, tool. I put in two different types of concealer and I put in the Benefit Boing number two and it said that I was Fair Rose and I was like, that's just not true because that's so pink. And then I put in Tarte Shape Tape Light Sand and then it said it was Light Sand and I was like, well that's obviously not true either because this is like orange. I ended up picking the Fair Warm and it actually is a decent shade for myself. So, not disappointed with that. The light sand in the camo concealer also works very well for me as too. You'll struggle a little bit with finding your color match. Just putting that out there happens to the best of us. So I'm just going to do a quick eye with my Noravina Mini Pro Pigment Palette Volume 2. This isn't a tutorial video, so I'm just going to kind of like buzz past this part, but I just want to see how they both uh, do being a eyeshadow base. The matte side is already creasing a lot, which does not really bode well in my opinion, but we'll see. Did a quick eye look. We're doing orange today, and I'm loving it. Uh, this, honestly, this Noravina palette, so good. So... Anyways, we're going to finish the rest of the face and I'll finish my eyes and face off camera after we do our concealer because that's what this video is about. To be honest, in terms of like eyeshadow bases, I actually preferred the hydrating base more than the matte. The shadows just blended a little bit better. They stuck to the eye a little bit better. I don't feel like I had as much creasing beforehand, like before I applied the shadows. I mean, that's a personal opinion. I know that the eyeshadow, after it's on and whatnot, wears throughout the day very well with the 16-hour camo concealer. So we will see how well uh, the eyeshadow wears with the hydrating camo concealer. But we're going to move on to concealing the face. This is the hydrating side. This is the matte side. What I also will say is I did try this in the parking lot of Target because, I mean, come on. The coverage for the hydrating concealer, I'm all about that. I feel like as soon as a company comes out with a full coverage concealer, it's generally matte, which again, I understand and I get, but then as soon as they come out with a hydrating counterpart, it's medium coverage. It's not full coverage. Some of us need hydrating and full coverage, and this still, the hydrating side, still gives you that same full coverage thickness, which is, again, amazing. All right, so I'm going to be using two separate uh, mini beauty blenders. These are not beauty blenders. They're Real Techniques makeup sponges to blend this out. On the little chart that I shared before from their website, it says that the matte side, it sets pretty quickly. And so you have to basically blend and set like immediately. So we're going to do that side first just so it doesn't like set too much on us. And then the hydrating side, which the chart says you have time to play. I don't know. So I am all about this. I'm looking at my monitor and my mirror. It's weird trying to use two different beauty blenders at the same time. Alright, so I am really about this hydrating side. Again, both very full coverage. I did not color correct or anything because I like to see how full coverage concealers work on their own. I mean, obviously when you color correct, like, you're going to conceal whatever you have. So I want to see when it says full coverage, is it actually full coverage? And it is. I do see a little bit of darkness in person, but that's, again, my own picking out my own flaws. I'm going to powder myself up. Thank you. 
I'm gonna go finish my eyes, my face, and we will be back for final thoughts. But honestly, this hydrating camo concealer is not disappointing in terms of coverage, texture, feel, eyeshadow priming. Whereas again on the 16 hour camo matte side, I still had a lot of like creasing and the texture was not as great. Um, however, still not disappointed by it. So I'm going to go finish my face and come back for some final thoughts. Okay guys, so here is the finished look. This side is the hydrating and this side is the matte of the camo concealer from e.l.f. $6. I'll put up a little like chart that they have on their website about the differences of them. The 16 hour camo concealer is matte. It dries a slightly different color. You don't have as much time to like play and work with it. The uh, hydrating camo concealer, it does apparently dry to the same color that's in the bottle. Um, it's hydrating. They're both full coverage, both large doe foot. However, I will say they're pretty much like exactly the same in terms of coverage. I did not do any color correcting and I just put the concealer down and like powdered myself. Both very full coverage though, so for six dollars you're definitely not going to miss out. One downside to both of these is that they are incredibly difficult to color match. Whether it's on their website or in person, it's unbelievably difficult to color match because I feel like you can't even tell a difference between each side and the matte I have in light sand and the hydrating I have in fair warm. So take that with as you will. Their foundation tool is a little like not the best either. I love both of these concealers. I am getting like a little bit more like soft reflex from the hydrating side. I'm also... this matte side is really effing with my face. It just leaves like this really bad texture on my skin. I don't know if you can see it. I can't see it on my monitor, but when I look in my mirror, it just doesn't look finished, you know? Like, it looks heavy. It looks like it looks. Does that make sense? Like, you can see it. Whereas the hydrating side, I feel like I'm getting a very smooth, as it says, satin finish. Like, I am seeing a little bit of, like, the dark hue of my dark circles, but, like, overall, I'm not disappointed, and it's not truly settling into, like, my fine lines and making me look old versus this matte side that's kind of making me look old. I also used it as an eyeshadow primer. Um, to be honest, those both seem like... I did not have any problems with either of those. Uh, I'll probably still use this 16 hour matte camo concealer as an eyeshadow primer because my eyelids do tend to get oily. But underneath my eyes with a little color correcting, this hydrating camo concealer is where it's at. Especially for $6, you really can't beat it. Side by side, I don't think you can tell like too much of a difference. I think I'm just a little nitpicky and like I like to zone in on my flaws so that I can like make a mental note of how to use the product later on in life. But six dollars, either one, you really can't beat it. The 16 hour camo concealer, if you have very oily skin, I could understand how this would be the best for you as well as I can see using this matte one a little bit more for actual contouring like if I had a darker shade I would use it for contouring more like as a foundation replacement versus like just an under eye concealer for the hydrating camo concealer if you have normal to dry skin this would work better for like under eyes I don't know if I would particularly care for this as a contour shade personal opinion, I would just use this one more as like a hydrating supplement, if you will. Those are my thoughts on the camo concealers from e.l.f. Cosmetics. 
Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section below. Have you tried the 16 hour camo concealer? Are you going to try the hydrating camo concealer? Let's start a conversation. I will link all of the products that I used in the description box below so that you can check them out on your own time if you're interested. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up. As always, please be sure to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. I would hate for you to miss out on another review, on another review or tutorial. Thanks so much for watching, guys.